How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. So I've been waiting for Atmosphere to do a full release by now and it hasn't happened yet. And I've also been seeing my comments on my previous video where I show you how to downgrade from 19.00 to 18.1.0 firmware and get back onto full support with Atmosphere on that firmware. But for several people that have uh, followed my video, they've had issues where they get a black screen and some type of transferring issues when loading onto Atmosphere. So I'd like to clarify real quick that when you do a downgrade, I believe technically you're not supposed to downgrade. That's why there's issues that come along with it. But the reason why I did it is because you're able to downgrade and get back onto um, CFW with Atmosphere with the full support. And also, you know, get back onto EMUMMC if that's what you're using. A lot of people with their issues, they're trying to go onto OFW and well, yeah, there's going to be issues there. And the only way to get back onto OFW is to update to the 19 support of Atmosphere. But anyways, if you are downgraded, it would most likely force you to update if you want to play online. So for me, I don't play online. So I only think about the support for Atmosphere or people that you put use Atmosphere for. <laughs> I'm trying to sound confusing. So that's the purpose of this video. I finally gave in and decided to make the pre-release because uh, Skiris did a, or Cyrus, he did a pre-release of Atmosphere and it's working just fine along with the files that help. Um, the only thing that's not working is forwarders. So until those, I think, apps get updated for 19 support, and we are out of forwarders for the time being. But as far as other files that are able to be installed, seem to be working just fine. So my pack is the same. You can see above my head right now, I'm on 19.00 with no atmosphere. By the end of this video, we're going to have the atmosphere 1.8.0. But with that being said, <laughs> let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so to get started, we need to download the files that we need for today. So if you look in the description, there's going to be several links, but you want to look for the ones that say the other side, tech86.2.2.zip, and the other side, AMS 1.8.0 pre release.zip. They're not going to be on my GitHub this time because I'm waiting for the full release. To add to my GitHub, and then I'm going to have it on my AIO switch of data app. But that's for another video. So for now, once you click on those links, it's just take you to the page where it will start the download process, and then you can have it move to the desktop like I have done already. Okay, so the next thing that we could do is open up our SD card. Now, it doesn't matter how you open up your SD card as long as you're able to transfer your files successfully. Right now, I'm using the SD card tools in Hecate, and I never have any issues, so I highly recommend it. And even though I'm on the Firmware 19.00, I am able to use the last version of Hecate, which is 6.2.0, in order to just to boot into Hecate and access my SD card from there. After that, then we'll do the update. But it's up to you. Just be careful because transferring these files are really important. So with the SD card open, we're going to go ahead and edit the SD card by deleting Atmosphere and Bootloader. Now, I delete these files. I know a lot of people don't like to delete it, but the reason why I delete it is because it just minimizes a lot of issues. When people replace over, it could clash with some other files. In the contents folder, there's sys modules that are not updated for 19 or a new firmware, and you'll have crashing issues. And also, the bootloader, the Hecate, has already a setup with the Hecate files. And even though I delete them here, I already have all that set up on my packs, so you shouldn't have to worry about it, but that's why I delete it. So once we highlight both of these two folders, let's go ahead and delete. After that, we can now go to these zip files and extract them to the, to the root of the SD card. So I'm going to be using 7-zip to extract my files if you want to follow along with me. 7-zip will have a download link in the description as well. So with 7-zip, I'm going to right click on my zip file and open up 7-zip open archive. Here we have the update files for Atmosphere. We're going to highlight all the files in the archive and then extract them to the root of the SD card. That's the empty space at the beginning of the SD card. You don't want to drop them onto a folder or else it's not going to work. So if you have any uh, files with the same names, just replace the files in the destination. It's okay to replace these files. 
after atmosphere has been added to the SD card, we can do the same thing with the Hecate. Right click, 7-zip, open archive, highlight both of the files and folders, and then extract them to the root of the SD card. There you go. Now we replace the files of the destination, and now our SD card should be updated at 419.00 support. And before we go ahead and try that out, I would just like to mention that my packs, they always come with everything that you need in order just to have a setup of atmosphere. I don't want to say too much without getting in trouble, but I hope you know what I mean. That being said, also I add files that help protect from accidentally updating. That's a host file inside of atmosphere and it blocks any type of network. That way, you know, you won't get that message of you have an update and accidentally updating. And you should be safe there unless you go on to OFW again. But uh, that has that set up. And bootloader, I already have the Hecate files that have launch options for both FusiBin and Package 3, which both do work. I've tested them both already for Package 3 EMUMC as well. But just wanted to let y'all know, I also add a syspatch. That's what I use to help with what we're trying to do. And uh, I don't like to use those other type of files. But uh, in order to use that syspatch, I already added the Tesla menu and it's also working for me as well on 19.00. It's also working on OLED as well if you're interested. But with that being said, we are done with the SD card. Let's go ahead and try it out. I'm gonna go ahead and eject. And oh, before I eject, I did add the payload.bin file that's updated with HEC8. And you would use this payload.bin file in order to get you booted into your OLED or your V2, or if you have the Tegra RCM GUI, which looks like this. If you have this for the unpatched switches, you can upload the payload.bin into the Tegra and get back onto Hecate from there. So there's uh, multiple ways of having that and just let you know if you want to use it that way. Now we can go ahead and eject the SD card and test it out. All right, so once you inject into Hecate, you should have the 6.2.2 up there. You'll probably have a message that says you wanna configure the time and date. It's a one-time thing. You could just go ahead and add your time and date. And once you're here, you can just go ahead and click on launch. And here you have these multiple options. The first option will be the OFW SysNAND. Second one will be Atmosphere CFW SysNAND using Fusi.bin. The second one will be EMMC using Fusi.bin. The fourth one will have the FSSO package three SysNAND and then we'll have EMU MMC as package three as well. Now I like to use Fusi bin. Both of them work just fine for me, but I know a lot of people have issues with one or the other. So that's why I added uh, all of them. It's <laughs> just so hopefully one works for you if one doesn't. But I'm gonna go ahead and go into Atmosphere SysNAND and it should just boot right up. We have no issues. All right, so if you were able to boot into the switch home menu like I did, then you should be good to go. We can also check to see if we're updated or in atmosphere by going into system settings, scrolling all the way down and seeing that the current version right now is 19.00. And I do have atmosphere 1.8.0 active with an S. And I have an S because I'm using my atmosphere with SysNAND. If you're using yours on EMMC, you're going to have an E. So the next thing I want to show you is if you scroll down to the serial information and if your console is all zeros like mine, then it's just letting you know that you are being protected and you shouldn't accidentally update on Atmosphere, SysNAND or MMC. Now, if you go into OFW, you're still going to be able to accidentally update. So just be careful on that. Um, I do add Tesla menu on these packs. It is working for 19.00. I'm not sure what is working for a 19.0 support with other apps, but my quick reboot app is working. If you don't know what that is, it just allows you to go back into Hecate from the Tesla menu or the HB menu. And those of you that have unpatched switches or V1s as well, I already swapped out the Hecate bin file with the reboot to payload file in Atmosphere. So that way you can use quick reboot as well. But that's pretty much it. 
everything seems to be working on the file side, like forwarders are working, installs are working, and Tinfoil is working as well. This was my first trial of trying to install a forwarder. It didn't work, but I haven't got rid of it yet. But I do have this forwarder working, and so that you know that the forwarders are working, then everything is working just fine. So that, of course, if uh, something is not working for you, you can leave a comment down below and I'll try and help you out as best I can. But as far as, as much as I can show y'all, everything seems to be working just fine. All right, so that's pretty much it. Everything seems to be working just fine on my end. Well, with the things that are working right now, you may have things that may not work for you and you have to wait for 19.0 support or a full release of Atmosphere. So when that day comes, I will update this pack and it will be on GitHub so you can manually download it. It will also be on my AIO switch updater app that way you can just update from this one and, and then have the full release right there. But forwarders are working, tinfoil is working, and with those working, then everything else should be working as well, which I did test, but unfortunately I can't show. That being said, if you have anything that didn't work for you, leave a comment down below and I'll try and answer as best as I can or help as best as I can. I was saying answer because sometimes I don't get the notification or the comment doesn't post on my end and I don't see it. So sometimes I never respond to you. I try to respond to everybody, but if I don't respond, chances are I never saw your comments. So I'm sorry. The best and easiest way to contact me is if you choose one of the links in the description that has to my social media sites. So those you can ask me about anything on social media alone. If you try and enter my discord there, we do have rules and you can't be asking any type of bad things. So try not to get in trouble, but we will let you know what you can and cannot say. I can still help you out with getting atmosphere uh, set up, some things like that. But you know, if you choose to go that route, well, we'll let you know what we can help, can't help. Being private on, on those other social media sites, I can say a little bit more. That being said, let me know if it works for you. And I hope it does. I, I really didn't like the, the downgrade video. You know, a lot of people are having issues. So I hope this helps out those that could not downgrade or did downgrade and can't use OFW. Right here, you can use OFW. That's how I was using the beginning of this video. And yeah, so let me know what you think. Um, other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.